Many times you'll see the characters be healed by a magical salve. Valerie Gribben is about to graduate from UAB School of Medicine. She's also an author of fairy tales. She's had a love of the genre since childhood. I love the flights of fancy, the idea of the evil troll and the wicked queen battling against the beautiful princess and the handsome prince. And as I grew up, I started to see the complexities, the subtleties in fairy tales. And by the time I came to medical school, I started to see the overlap between fairy tales and medicine. Gribben is the creator of an exhibit at the Alabama Museum of the Health Sciences. The charm was broken, illness and injury in the fairy tales of Mary de Morgan. De Morgan was a Victorian era writer. The exhibit features her work along with a trove of material from UAB's Reynolds Historical Library, including some old medical texts, some of which date to the 1500s. Because once upon a time, medicine and magic weren't that far apart. And it actually is describing how in medieval Europe, it was believed that if you got the horn of a unicorn, it was a very powerful panacea. In fact, it was valued as a medicine against stomach problems, epilepsy, poison. Gribben says that while training to be a physician, she's met the characters from fairy tales. The abandoned prince, the evil stepmother, the lecherous king. Fairy tales and medicine both deal with the things that go bump in the night. And it's the unknown, sort of the dark forest, the shadowy world. You know, you enter, when you go into a hospital, you enter the realm of the sick, of the ill. And it's a transition from sort of the outside world. And I think that medicine is about reaching deeper and being able to have compassion for everyone around you even if they don't look like you or sound like you. Fairy tales are stories of the people, many set down at a time when illness was poorly understood. Disease was a sort of ever-present, uh, sort of ominous cloud that hang o hung over every family. I think these fairy tales are not only stories to convey the realities of life to children, but in some ways to sort of assuage the fears um, of parents. And fairy tales remind us that despite the leaps of medical knowledge over the years, we're not that different from the woodcutter or fisherman of humble stories. We're all still searching for a happily ever after. I think that fairy tales and medicine both deal with the human spirit, the human condition.